Okay, so for this question, you're given current density J is equal to 100 over rho squared in the rho direction. And they ask you to find this, the rate of increase in volume charge density. So you can interpret that to mean what is the change in rho V with respect to time? So let's do that first. Um, the point form of the continuity equation says that the divergence of current density equals the negative of this quantity that we want. So let's start by taking the divergence of j. So since there's only a row component, we'll just take uh, divergence of the row part, which is equal to one over rho times the derivative with respect to rho of rho times the row component, which would be 100 over rho squared. So once uh, you cancel out one of these rows, you'll be left with the uh, derivative of 100 over rho times 1 over rho, which works out to be negative 100 over rho cubed. So because this is equal to the negative of the rate of increase in volume charge density, we can say that our answer to A is just the opposite sign of this, which is 100 over rho cubed. And um, this is in units of, so rho v is coulombs per meter cubed per second. So coulombs, oops, coulombs per meter cubed per second is the unit there. And that's the answer to the first part. And so the second part, B, you can find. Uh, you can find current by using this, the surface integral of the current density J dotted with ds, or the surface that the current is passing through. So here the surface describes uh, where rho is equal to 2. Plugging things in, the surface integral's bounds will be from z equals 0 to 1 and from phi equals 0 to 2 pi, we'll dot j with ds here. Um, so you'll get 100 over rho squared a rho dotted with whatever's in the a rho direction. So that would have to be uh, rho dz d phi. I'll write it rho d phi dz in the rho direction like that. Um, so we can pull a couple things out. Uh, we said rho is a constant 2 here. So this rho squared becomes 4. 100 over 4 becomes 25. So we can pull out 25. Then we have z equals 0 to 1 of just dz here. And then you have the also the integral uh, from phi equals 0 to 2 pi of just d phi. So this ends up being 25 times z from 1 to 0 uh, times phi from 2 phi to 0, which ends up being just 50 pi. And this is a current we're talking about, and we used SI units throughout here. So that's going to be your answer. 50 pi amps is what passes through that surface with that given current density J.